All right. Uh, good morning, YouTube. Uh, it is June 1st, 2023, and I have had the privilege to work with uh, quite a few of you. And this was a huge request as far as what do I do in the morning when I wake up? Well, let me tell you, it is uh, 4.30 a.m. Just got logged in here and just thought I would uh, start recording from the moment that uh, I got logged in. And uh, this is what I do. Um, first thing I do is I look at the general direction of the market. And you can see that our futures are pretty quiet here for the first day of the month. Uh, the Dow, I went ahead and added my resistance level based upon my 10 day moving average and my potential targets. And I'm going to do the same thing here with IWM. So just sit back, relax, and uh, hopefully you're going to pick up something here along the way. Just defining support and resistance for my uh, indexes here. Always good to uh, start fresh. And you know what, I'm just gonna clear this out because that'll be easier. Clear this one out too. And I'm going to start with the daily here. This is my resistance. This is a swing low for me below the 10. So is that one. And so is that one. Anywhere where price just kind of sticks out below the 10. Those are my potential targets. And you can see that uh, we really don't have a lot here to the left as far as what to take out anymore for last year. We would actually have to uh, go back even further in order to do this. And right here would be the next level. This is two years back, by the way. It's this area right here. Here's another area where we try to uh, go higher here. And you can see that we're pulling back now. Uh, we got a gap fill up here. That's something to be aware of as well. But other than that, that's uh, pretty much, that's it. I guess we can complete this. We can come down as far as here. That's a two year chart now. Okay. I'm not going to go back further than this. Uh, if we take out these, then we'll, we'll come back and we'll revisit that. But for the most part, that's, I like to say, with a one year chart. Let's take a look at the spy, clear up this mess. And we can see that the SPY right here, we tried to go higher and we pulled back. This is our low right here. This is another low there. And another one here, here. And then to the upside, we have a nice, well, this was the gap fill. So, we will mark this with a dash. This is a dash or a gap. See how we filled that. And then we have another target right there. Give or take. Don't make it an exact science. Just trade what you see. All right. So, with that said, let's go ahead. Let's create a watch list, which we did. 6123. And now I'm going to go into my basket of stocks. These are the ones that I review every morning with a cup of coffee and see if I like anything. See A is still going down. 
Hey, hey, we took this one short a couple days ago. Took the money. It's still working lower. Apple has a nice shooter on it, so I want to be aware of that. Airbnb is bouncing off of support, so be aware of that one. ABR, nothing. AEO, that was a 2 2 reversal yesterday. Aplac looks bad. Firm. AI is an inside day. It looked like they're gapping this one down really hard. $8 gap down. Look at this thing. Wow. They will smack it around. That's why you can't chase this stuff. Look at this. Magnitude on this one is 35.12 and what they're doing. They're taking it right back here to the gap fill. <laughs> Unbelievable. If it opens good. So again, this is a gap right there. I will put a dash here to help me see the gap. Helps just helps me visually identify it. All right, let's just keep going through. AMD was a beautiful 2-2 reversal yesterday. Amazon looks like it go it could go 2-2 up. So I will change this to my watch list. And the high for yesterday was 122.04. So I want to know if Amazon takes out 122.04 for a reversal. 2 2 reversal. Consolidating. No. This is a breakdown. Watching Activision here for a 2 2 reversal. So if we come below 79.68. I'd like to know about that. If it goes two 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 continuation, I won't touch it. BA nothing. Bank of America tried to go lower yesterday and they brought it right back up. Uh, Best Buy was a 2-2 reversal that we took in the group chat. Uh, traded it back down to the 10 yesterday. Big. Let's get rid of Big. That's a bad stock. And, you know, some of these you just got to get through. Uh, nothing. Nothing. BKD. I just like to watch this one. Looks like it wants to fill the gap. Eventually fill the gap. Uh, this is how you would draw this one. Previous high. New low below the 10 right there. BKR. Trying to hold that level of support. Bell ring. Nope. Berkshire B is an inside day, but not a lot of room to run. BSX through an outside day. That's interesting. So a three. So you want to know if it takes out uh, 51.75. To create an alert here for 51.75. And that would be my only trade on this because this already hit target for me to the downside. Doesn't mean that I can't continue and try to get down to here, but that's the only trade I think I would look for this one. Nice pullback and then maybe a trade back up to uh, there. Okay. BSX. 
add that one. Beyond, beyond is another beat down stock. Conagra did what I expected it to. It uh, shook me out yesterday and then it reversed. That happens. Cat, cat looks interesting. It looks like it wants to get down to the gap fill here. Um, not on my list. CDNS looks like it could go 2 2 reversal today. Went 2 2 reversal yesterday. But the difference is, is that you can see right here, it wasn't strong enough to hit target right here. CF continues lower. Chewy. Chewy hit target. Chewy hit target. So now you've got this nice range for Chewy. Like that. And so maybe we get a bounce right through here or or maybe continues down right there that would be a nice move too but the time to take Chewy was here when it went to to reversal and it just could not get going price reversed CLF looks like it wants to hammer back up bolts break down Comcast still uh, holding up I'm going to add this one. I like how this is holding up. If it doesn't hold up, guess what? Nice little gap right here. So Comcast is one. Trade it back up or trade it to the fill of the gap. Either one. Coin still looks good. That's interesting. Now keep in mind, it's a new month. Everything resets in the strat. Costco, they ran it right to resistance. Shook everyone out and then they moved it right back up after earnings. Crowd, ooh, crowd is gapping down hard. Oh my gosh. So earnings and crowd. 531 yesterday. And they're going to gap this thing all the way down to here, 142. And this is why I don't like to play earnings. You just don't know how it's going to play out. Um, yeah, they're going to gap this thing all the way down here. I won't touch it. I'll wait for it to set up. Uh, Cisco has a nice 2-2 reversal from yesterday. You can see how uh, right after earnings, they took this one right up here. They filled the gap. And now it's trying to go back lower. Uh, Cisco would be one that I would continue to try to trade lower and lower if it allows you to. Uh, really not a signal though for today, so we'll leave it alone. No, no. Carvana still sitting right there above the 10. Watch this one. I took the money in this one a couple days ago. Right there. It hit my target over here. We talked about that in the group. CVS, you can see how that went lower. Tried to go lower yesterday and they brought it right back up. DoorDash, same thing. Tried to go lower. They brought it right back up. So now you're looking for a 2-2 reversal and dash today. So if we go above 65.40, you want to know about that. So create an alert. DD moved it right back up, almost filled the gap and then pulled it back. D dog is still sitting right there at that level of support. A resistance, I'm sorry, resistance. John Deere just continues to go lower, uh, in my opinion. John Deere is targeting that low, which it already hit. It's hit that low and that low. John Deere looks awful. Disney. 
Disney looks awful. Wants to get down lower. Just kind of pausing for the day. Inside day. Pause. Remember how we talked about the pause? So we could watch Disney for a break above or below. We don't know which one they're going to do. Love inside bars. DraftKings, same thing, just consolidating. Looks like we're just kind of stuck in the chop in a lot of these. Dix. Dix came down. Hit that area right there, and now it's bouncing. Dollar Tree, look at Dollar Tree. Earnings gap down. Paused here the other day, and then right after the pause, bam, they hit this thing. They're getting out. Dollar or docu sign. No, no. eBay, you can see how they uh, took everyone out on the eBay side. These guys love to do this. Get everyone thinking long and then they just hit it and take it right out and take all these people. Elf. No. E.T. No. No. Ford was one that we traded. They took it right up to resistance and the moment we cut right here, we took it short. Uh, I played it from 12.52 down to 12.30, got my money, and uh, this just kept going. Just an amazing trade. Amazing trade. And so now you can see we have this range right here. That's pretty wide. Fastenal. Pulling back after hitting resistance. FedEx pulling back. Pfizer, Flex. Flex is an interesting one. We talked about this one. We were waiting for this reversal. We got it yesterday. And look, you got a nice little move. And it hit target. And then it kept going lower. That's why you have to be extremely patient for these things to set up. We were watching it at uh, this level. And you can see it took three days before it reversed. Three days. Not five minutes. Three days. Flow trying to go lower. Shift went lower. Gonna try to speed this up so we're not uh, staying in the, uh, you know, a long, long video. Fortinet trying to uh, reverse a little bit here. Fortinet would be a good one to watch. Possible 2 2 reversal, right? 67.86. Come over here, 67. 86 inside week so far we threw a three bar on the month we have a two on the quarter and we got an inside for the year big picture g daddy just kind of ugly when you look at the quarter and the month gdx trying to gap up a little bit gold GE just keeps holding up. GIS tried to reverse yesterday. So the question is, does it just keep going? Or do we set up 2-2 reversal here? So I will put an alert here at 8309. And add this one to my list GM GM right to resistance and right back down to previous low <laughs> love it Google inside day you want to watch this one set your alerts just gotta speed this up here 12250. And this is what I do, people. Drink my coffee, get away from the noise, and I just 
focus on price. That's it. Close enough. And now I have my alerts for Google. GT, I went short yesterday, 2 2 reversal, and took money at Target. Nice trade. An expensive stock that allows you to learn how price moves and to sit comfortably in. You guys need to learn how to sit comfortably in some of these. If you're not comfortable on a trade, it's because you have too much on the line. Uh, it came in and bought HP. I'll wait for this one to set up again. That's a possible 2 2 reversal to the upside. IBM. Uh, not going to watch that one. End mode broke down. So if you're short, you're still in this trade. I'm trying to trade it back down to here. If uh, it comes back up through this 3214, that's where I would place my stop. Let's just watch this one. I'm going to add this and we'll just watch it. But I would set an alert right here to let me know I'm, I'm wrong. Or that's where I would just place a, a stop. Some, some of you need to learn how to do it uh, with uh, OCO brackets. Intel, you can see how they smoked everyone right here. Man, that's a nice move. Look at this. 2-2 two, two, reversal. Bam. Three days back up. They just took it right to them. Those reversals are powerful, and that's what you're starting to see in the market here. Very powerful reversals to the upside and to the downside. A very indecisive market right now. I mean, look at IR here. We went 2-2 two, two up, and then we went right back down. You could go right here for a target. But just keep in mind, the time to take this was right there when we went 2 2 reversal and then this right here would be your previous high <coughs> excuse me key another one I wish I got shaken out of this one you can see how I've, it triggered and then it got me out but look at this move from 983 down to 927 in a $10 stock. Very nice move. Probably should have kept this because this is the start of the trend. No reason to get out. All it did was TTO. Um, can't remember why I got out of this one. I think I was up already on the day and I thought, ah, I'll just take the money. Cut my losses and go from there. Coke was one that we watched yesterday. This thing was a solid green candle until the last hour and then it sold off. Look at Kroger here. Man, when they want out, they get out three days of just pure dumping. Two extended. LNCH, no, no. Uh, Lulu, look how Lulu is just coming down here trying to uh, fill the gap. We call that gap and crap, right? My goodness. Even if you had five shares of Lulu, one share of Lulu, 100 shares of Lulu, this right there, that was your previous high, and when we signaled right there, that's where you need to be, right here. At the bottom of 371.15, and if you can just train yourself not to take the money and see the big picture, look at this. You're just getting paid. Um, earnings coming up. Today, I probably would have just taken the money on that one. LVS, we brought in. Now we're trying to reverse lift. Still trying to come back up here after reversing three days ago, four days ago. And then possibly coming back up to this area and uh, filling the gap. Keep an eye on lift. Kind of at the bottom of all, all this, but you know, sooner or later, some of these will reverse. We'll see that in SoFi when we get down here. Uh, Macy's, look at Macy's, how we just consolidated here, and then we just broke lower. Full time frame continuity. 
Marathon doing nothing. Mattel went right to resistance, pulling back. McDonald's nothing. M chip triggered lower. Not strong enough to hit target. So when you get one of these where we trigger and then we come down here and almost get the target, I would just get out and get my money. Meta did a nice 2 2 reversal, and then as soon as it reversed, buyer stepped in. This happens where they wait for it to come go on sale and then they just buy it right back up. This means this thing is in demand. And you can see that action right here because the weekly could flip to green here at uh, 265.25. So, yeah, Meta looks strong. MGM took out the previous low, 3M just dumping. Going lower. No. Morgan Stanley trying to hold that level of support. 2 2 reversal. Beautiful trade. Microsoft threw a 3 yesterday. This is what I mean about wild price action right now. Look at Micron. 2 2. Gap you down. See you later. Net continued to go higher, running towards that target right there. Uh, if you wanted to shorten that today, you would set your uh, alert at 64.25, and that's just what I. This is what I do. I just inch it up, right? And once it triggers, then I just take the trade. Uh, you can see that they are gapping us down right now, 670, 660. So. We're back in the chop where you got to take the money. Netflix will be interesting. Netflix is an inside day. Watch Netflix today. Set the alert. Neo. Neo is almost getting to the point where I don't even care to watch it. It has earnings. Nike. Look at how Nike just keeps going lower. NLV lower. NetApp right to resistance down. And video is a great trade. We talk about we talked about this in the group. Uh, lots of good things right there to look at. Uh, another reversal. I think you guys get the point here. A lot of these are running to resistance and reversing, or they are trying to bounce. Uh, open is still setting up. Uh, if you were in open, you took the money about four days ago, like I did. And now you're trying to uh, wait for this to set up and get back up to this 279 area. Uh, you should have gone long at 244. You'd be up 20 cents a share on this. Uh, still looks good. So I'll create an alert right there. May jump back into this one to the long side. Oracle, high, new highs, Otis. TTO down, Oxy selling off, Palo Alto inside day, big boy stock, uh, Paramount inside day, PCG inside day, PDD nice dump, nice follow through, a lot of people took the money at the 10, Pfizer reversing, Pfizer was an entry right here. As soon as we took out 37.45, that was your entry. Missed this one yesterday. It's all right. It'll set back up again. Or if I want, I could go long if it takes off the high for today. But I kind of feel like I'm chasing now, so I won't do that. Uh, pins pulled back. Nice hammer on this thing. Want to see if it can get back up here and fill this gap. Uh, I'm still in pins. Still in pens in my long term account. Like it. PLTR, look at this thing. Just keeps going. Did take the money in this one. Nice move. Plug. No. Peer storage flagging out. Uh, we've got this nice inside day. I'll watch this one. Uh, your targets on this would be. There's your magnitude all the way up here. 
people always say, oh, it can't get up there. Oh, it can. <laughs> it most definitely can. <laughs> and then you've got it all the way, believe it or not, right there. That is some wide magnitude. Look at this thing. From 23 to 32. <whistles> PayPal trying to reverse. 2-2 two -two reversal. Might have to grab some PayPal. Uh, still going to watch this one. I think it needs some more time to consolidate. Roblox still holding support. Rig wants to go lower. Rivian still consolidating. Con consolidating. Consolidating. There you go. Rocket uh, holding that level of support. Roku. Roku 2 2 reversal. That one looks kind of good. Uh, still holding up. Starbucks right to <laughs> right to target. I can't make this up. I didn't even change those lines. That's beautiful. You can see right here how we broke lower and we just kept going. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days to get down there, guys. Seven days, not seven seconds or seven minutes. Seven days. Uh, Schwab still continues to consolidate. Uh, shop looks like it wants to go lower silver um, nice move in silver yesterday uh, nice balance watching silver snap snap looks good right 2-2 two -two reversal setup so if snap breaks 1023 you want to grab some of this long get that into my watch list. All right, so SoFi, this is the one we were talking about uh, in the group again, and you can just see how we got above this 10 here. We just kind of held this 10, threw a three right here on this day, and then we triggered up, and then they just moved it right up. Beautiful. Uh, one of the guys in the group, Cash, traded this all the way back up here because he understood what the magnitude on this could be. Nice trade, cash. Very nice trade. 2 2 reversal in socks. Uh, S power, no. Spy. SQ. SQ looks like it wants to go higher. 2 2 reversal. Uh, ST. 2 2 reversal. Seagate possible. 2 2 reversal. ATT. Uh, we traded this in the group when it went inside right here. And we broke above this. 1561 and we got out at 1591 30 cent move but the most important thing is is that uh, we were able to stay in that trade to target and uh, take the money look at target <laughs> speaking of target wow falling knife uh let's see trip no tesla almost a target uh, Under Armour is interesting. This one is inside and could get going. I like how it's holding this level of support. Right there. If you trade this one, this is the last attempt to get above the 10. And that's where you would trade this one back to. Um, this is where you put your low right there. Um, so... A rest, a run, a rest, run. And now we're just kind of resting and hopefully we'll get back up here. All right, almost done here. Hang in there. UAL, Uber, Uber looks good. Uber looks like a 2 2 reversal in the making today. Set an alert. Add this one. UPS possible bounce off support nice consolidation uh, you could set an alert right here if it goes higher upstart wants to uh, possibly go higher this is an inside day Right there's your previous high, and this 
is slightly below the 10. That's your range right there. Upstart is one to watch. Man, I wish I could be in the market today, but I've got to go and do some work stuff. 2 2 reversal for US Bank. Uh, same with uh, VALE. Verizon tried to reverse. You can see that. Nice move in Verizon yesterday. Look at this thing. Right there was your trigger. Missed this one. 3510. Strong move. Take the money at the end of the day. WBA inside. Yep, inside and up on this one too. Uh, Warner Brothers looks bad. This looks like a potential short down to here. So if this thing goes below 11.22, you take this one short. And your previous low is right there. 11.01 so a 21 cent move on this one and maybe you'll get lucky and then keep going all the way down here but just keep in mind this one has been under the 10 for quite a while we'll just watch this one Western Digital did a 2-2 reversal Wells Fargo selling off Walmart pausing right now Wolf 2-2 reversal uh, WSC 2-2 reversal. Lots and lots of 2-2 reversals yesterday. Um, XLF, same thing. 2-2 reversal. Zom. I finally did get down there. Paused a little bit, but it finally got down there. Yum. 2-2 reversal. Uh, that's about it, guys. All right. I know that got a little long, but... Uh, I hope you're getting something out of this. Uh, if, uh, if you are, please comment. And uh, if you're new, please come join us in the Discord channel. Love to have you. All right, that's it. Trade them all today, guys. Talk to you later.